Hey, here we are again, Trinity Productions, TrinityProSound.com, coming to you on YouTube. And today we're doing just a quick overview, not necessarily a comparison video, of the new DB Technologies. And it's their DBA S10 series single 18 sub, uh, 1000 watts in power with a DigiPro amplifier on it. And. Um, we're just going to take a walk around the cabinet here and show you the front. It is, uh, like I said, a single 18. Um, it's got a pull cup on the top. Um, it's routed out so that the units can be um, stacked together um, to form an array. And also there are a, uh, an SDD module to do um, uh, cardioid subs on the thing and a delay. And around it we've got, on the side, um, three handles uh, for uh, picking up, use, stacking, whatever. And on the top there are some uh, mounts to um, fasten in the uh, fly frame in case the fly frame is stacked on top of it. Around the back side of the sub is the DigiPro power amplifier. Um, we do have which we have not installed yet, the wheels for it that go on it. And um, there is the uh, the DigiPro amp. And we've got this one plugged in and powered up. Um, on the DigiPro amp we've got the uh, uh, slot for the SDD module uh, as needed. And then we've got the input, balanced input and a link. And then we've also got the um, balanced crossover output on it. There are switches on it to uh, set up the um, the phase of the sub uh, 0 and 180 degrees and then there's also a crossover button to cross over the sub at 120 and 90 and then again we've got the um, on LED we've got a signal LED and a red LED uh, for limiting and then the uh, the gain adjustment on it this particular power module does not have a on off switch once the um, the power con is plugged into it. This thing is up and running. It's got a fuse on it and then a pretty um, beefy heat sink um, on the back of it. So what we're going to do is open this guy up, take a look at the um, speaker inside of it, and um, take a look at the construction of the cabinet and uh, kind of give you an overview. Um, again, this is an addition to our um, existing stock. Uh, this, these two particular subs um, are going to be set up uh, so that we can fly them. We bought the uh, fly hardware for them and so um, we're going to end up flying them at the top of our array to complement the, uh, the two double eighteens that we fly per, or not fly, but ground stack per side um, when we do um, our concerts. So I'm going to uh, get the screws out of this thing and we'll get her opened up and I'll be right back. Okay, so we've got all the screws out. It was held on by uh, by twelve screws through the uh, through the front, and um, now we're going to go ahead and pull the grill off. Um, it's got a fairly heavy stamped um, metal grill, and then on the back of it, it's all foam lined, so that uh, helped to keep dust and crud out of the speaker. Um, it is a um, vented uh, design here. And um, as you can see from the bracing that they've got in and where the, uh, the woofer is positioned um, down inside the cabinet. Uh, we've listened to these and they produce a, uh, a pretty low, um, low end on the, the frequency range and get a really um, good solid rumble out of the thing. Um, I was quite surprised that uh, they um, these particular speakers sounded like they go as low as our um, our double eighteens, and uh, the output of them is for a single eighteen. I was um, quite shocked. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and pull this um, front on here and expose the subwoofer and uh, take a look at the speaker uh, and the construction of the cabinet. Be right back. So now we've got this piece loose with all of the um, the screws out, and those were um, threaded metric on it so we're going to go ahead and open it up and take a look here 
and take a look at this. Looks like um, certainly the same uh, speaker driver that is used in the um, the double eighteen subs. And there is the uh, the mount for the uh, pole, uh, the thread cup. And the construction of it is um, all plywood. Uh, it is uh, multi-layered. It is um, braced. Um, on the inside, we've got the handle cutouts here. Um, we're going to have to pull the handles, it looks like, to get the um, the speaker out of it. But uh, the cabinet is braced through and through um, to provide uh, good, solid construction. Um, looks like the, uh, the cabinet itself is um, made possibly with... Uh, not sure if this is birch or just mahogany skin plywood. I'm going to have to look into that. But um, good solid construction and um, screwed and glued together. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and get the handles pulled so we can get the driver out and take a look at that. And um, we'll be right back. Okay, so now we've got the handles out of the side so we can get access to the speaker. We've pulled all of the threaded um, screws out of it and all the way around on the uh, on the subwoofer and now we're going to go ahead and pull the subwoofer out and let you take a look at it. Be right back. So here we are without getting too crazy I flipped it and turned it sideways without taking it all the way out. Um, it is a cast frame basket. It has a uh, end dime uh, magnet on it. Uh, the thing still weighs a little bit, but not near as what a ceramic type uh, driver would be that is this size. Um, the construction of it, typical to uh, our same double uh, 18s uh, that we have, and uh, beefy driver. Again, if you look down inside the cabinet, uh, the cabinet is well braced uh, all the way through. Uh, the Digipro amp is enclosed down inside there in a box around it and then it's got uh, reinforcement plates down in there for the wheels. Um, let's see if we can see that. Yeah, down inside there is the reinforcement plates for the wheels to screw into. So that is it for the construction of the cabinet. We're going to go ahead and put this thing back together and uh, run a little sound through it. Again, as with our demos, we're only using the microphone on the camcorder, so it's not going to give you a real representation. But um, what I'm hoping to do is uh, do a comparison on this sub as well as on the, uh, the QSC uh, KW181 sub. We recently took delivery on those. Um, for one of our clients and we, we want to just compare the two. They're both uh, rated at a thousand watts, both have digital amplifiers, but we'd like to do a comparison video uh, to um, listen to them and see what the output of the, uh, the subs are going to be and also the construction of the, the KW181. So anyway, be right back. Okay, so here we are all back together. What we're going to do is flip the sub down onto its uh, little rubbery feet there and fire this thing up and let you not necessarily take a listen to it because you're not going to get the full effect of what this subwoofer can really do but um, at least we'll run some sound through it make sure we got it all back together right so be right back now we've got some low-end content coming out of it and you'll be able to kind of hear um, with the limited ability of the mic that's in the camera good here but I seriously got you to get the full effect over the, um, the input on the camera but um, that is the S10 sub uh, we are dealers for the entire DB technology line uh, all the way from their line arrays and uh, down into some of their passive cabinets and if you have any need whatsoever, uh, we ship all over the United States and offer killer deals on all of the DB Technologies line. So if you're looking at a system or even just single components uh, with DB Technologies or even RCF, give us a call. 
area code 209-832-8023. Thanks.